Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Nicholas Stewart and I'm a real estate agent here in Central Arkansas. Today I want to talk about something special to me, which is Little Rock, Arkansas. When you mention you're from Little Rock, most people from other states are surprised when they hear it. A lot of people have never heard of Little Rock or they've just forgotten that it exists. But did you know there are things about Little Rock that people who actually live here may not have known before? In this video, I'm going to talk about 10 things that you didn't know about Little Rock. So keep watching. If you like this channel or if you enjoy this video, please hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button if you want to be notified of each video that I upload. I talk about Central Arkansas with an emphasis on Little Rock, Arkansas, and I'm very passionate about my city. I'm a real estate agent with iRealty Arkansas, and real estate is my calling. I hope you enjoy this list. Let's get started. Number one, Little Rock is home to ATA Martial Arts, formerly known as the American Taekwondo Association, and hosts the ATA World Taekwondo Championships every summer. Little Rock has been its headquarters since 1977, ATA has over 2,000 locations and over 300,000 members spread over 21 countries. It's one of the largest Taekwondo associations in the world. They have programs for children of preschool age up to adults. If you're ever in Little Rock, you can tour the headquarters by calling or emailing and reserving a time to do so. I'll place a link and contact info in the description. Number two, Little Rock's name comes from an actual Little Rock the small rock formation was used by travelers on the Arkansas River as a landmark known as La Petite Roche, which is French for the Little Rock. This became a known point for residents and travelers, and the name stuck. You can find the Little Rock at Riverfront Park on a walking path which follows along the edge of the Arkansas River. There are several other landmarks, sculptures, and beautiful scenery along the walking path. Number three, the Arkansas travelers are the professional AA minor league baseball affiliate in Arkansas and have one of the longest running histories of any minor league franchise. The team played their last game in Little Rock at Wade Winter Field in 2006 and began playing in North Little Rock in 2007. The new park attracts many fans and spectators every season and tickets are fairly inexpensive. There's lots of food, drinks, and even a few shops inside the park. And they're also a pretty decent baseball team. You should definitely catch a game if you're ever on the north side of the river. Number four, remember the band Evanescence? Well, lead singer Amy Lee got her start in Little Rock. She founded the band in Little Rock in 1995 and they released their first full-length album in 2003. It sold more than 17 million copies worldwide and even earned them two Grammy Awards out of six nominations. The lineup has changed over the years but Amy Lee has always been the main part of the band. This December, they announced a new album entitled The Bitter Truth, which will be released in March of 2021. Number five, Little Rock has developed into a major microbrew player and is now one of the South's leading beer destinations. There are several great breweries in Little Rock, which include Lost 40 Brewing, Diamond Bear Brewing, Blue Canoe Brewing, and Stone Store Brewing. If you're a beer enthusiast and you enjoy craft beer, Little Rock is a great destination place for you. Most of our breweries offer tours as well. In North Little Rock, you also have Flyway Brewery, which has an amazing selection that you can find locally in stores. Number six, are you in search of a house in Little Rock? Little Rock has more than 50 individual neighborhoods such as Broadmoor, Brody Creek, Riverdale, Rock Creek, Quapaw Quarter, and Woodlands Edge. The median home price in the city as of this video is $218.5. The housing market in Little Rock has something for everyone whether you're looking to purchase your first home or move up to a bigger one. There's lots of personality in almost every neighborhood here. You can live in the heart of the city or you can move outside of the city, but you'll always be close to attractions, recreation, and shopping. That's the hometown feel of Little Rock. There's something for everyone. Number seven, Little Rock has a ton of hospitals in relation to the amount of people that live in town. The medical industry in Little Rock is in great shape and one of the big players in this industry is Arkansas Children's Hospital, which has more than 500 physicians and 4,500 on staff. 
also in Little Rock, Arkansas Heart Hospital, Baptist Health Medical Center, Central Arkansas Veterans Healthcare System, St. Vincent, Pinnacle Point Hospital, and UAMS Medical Center. These hospitals are some of the best in the country, and they continue to grow with other facilities, clinics, and health locations in surrounding cities. Number eight, Little Rock is home to Heifer International's World Headquarters. Heifer International is an organization that works with the world's farmers by helping strengthen their local economy and growing their business. In doing that, they work to end poverty by training families to be self-sufficient by agricultural means. Since 1944, they have donated lots of animals to over 20 million families. Heifer is located next to the Clinton Presidential Library. Number nine. Now let's talk about famous people. I'll just name a few and maybe you'll know some that I'm about to list. Let's go. Josh Lucas, actor. Corin Nemi, actor. George Newbern, actor. Judge Reinhold, actor. Amy Lee, lead singer of Evanescence. Smokey Norfolk, singer. Jason White, guitarist and singer of Green Day. Lenny Williams, singer. Harry Thomason and Linda Bloodworth Thomason, producers, writers, and directors of Designing Women. And Fatima Robinson, dancer slash choreographer. Of course, this is just a few, but did you know they were either born in Little Rock or currently reside here? And finally, number 10. Burns Park in North Little Rock is the second largest city park in the United States at 1,700 acres. It used to be a training camp for soldiers during World War I, and after a while it was declared a surplus, so the land was divided and sold. A doctor by the name of William Burns raised funds along with a 20,000 grant to purchase the land, and he turned it into a park. Currently, there are two golf courses, an amusement park, and a camping area. You can also rent pavilions, and there are several always available. Now, when you're in North Little Rock, you definitely want to check this out. You're able to drive through it, or if you want, cycling is very fun as well. Well, there you have it. I hope you got some things out of this list that you did not know, and if you can think of anything else, please comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more things Little Rock, Arkansas, Central Arkansas, and real estate related videos. Thank you again for watching. This is Nicholas Stewart with iRootsy Arkansas. Stay happy and stay safe.